Hello, good morning, welcome to video 534 about our new house. Another vlog! Um, I mentioned in our moving vlog, I'll link that up there in case you missed that, that video is mega. That video is long, if you want to see lots of snippets of the new house, that is definitely the video to watch. But I mentioned in that video that I was going to be doing this room. Oh look, I've got you in a little, I've got you in a little suitcase, I can just spin you around um yeah today i'm organizing to be fair i'm sat in front of, of everything it's here it's here um yeah today i'm gonna organize this um i save this for like a day i don't think it's gonna take a whole day but i've actually really been looking forward to this moment um just to explain the setup here in our old flat we had like built-in wardrobes um oh my gosh i just absolutely loved them obviously they were built in so we left them there and then a new house there isn't any built-in wardrobe storage anywhere we don't have any wardrobes we haven't bought any wardrobes and hopefully one day we'll get like built-in wardrobes again done here so until that moment and to save us like buying wardrobes that we won't want at a later date we thought we'd convert this room which is next to our bedroom um i mean I keep calling it like a temporary walk-in wardrobe or like a dressing room and Mark is like chill out that's not what it is <laughs> it's not gonna be this forever basically we're hoping in the next 12 months we'll be able to move everything that's in here into the bedroom into some lovely like built-in wardrobes but for now this is the temporary solution so come build a temporary walk-in wardrobe with me um I've got some rails and I've got the gold rail this rail we had at my parents house as well we had it in the old flat it was from not on the high street I personally really don't rate it um I just had a real mare with ordering it it was really like not fun to order the wrong one arrived terrible customer service wouldn't recommend these ones here we've got two from John Lewis you will see these later on in the video like Mark's got one and I've got one of those so far no complaints they were just very chic and simple I really like the design of them easy to move around if we need to and also quite long I think they're about 50 quid each which when you look for clothing rails there's definitely ones that are more expensive definitely ones that are cheaper but these feel like they were well made and then also over here we've got a drawer unit this is from West Elm but we ordered it again from John Lewis West Elm delivery can take quite a while kind of like two to three weeks up to a month these were available to ship on John Lewis so we got them within like two or three days which is great so Mark's got half of that and I've got half of that for more like underwear pajamas like all of that kind of stuff and we probably will have that somewhere else in the house for storage um, when we're done with it so nothing that feels wasteful that we're going to throw away like all of these are things we will use in the house in some way at some point so that's the backstory that's the context and I think I'm going to do something kind of different I haven't really done before but basically just get it all out like I kind of just want to see what I've got I've obviously been without my clothing now for like three months I just want to have it all out get it all out and yeah maybe i'll utilize it more if everything is hanging like here we have the space to hang everything at the flat we didn't so i always had to do this very like capture wardrobe seasonal thing and i feel like i want to do something different here maybe i won't like it maybe i'll go back to just having like the bits for the season out but i feel like it might make me use more things more year round i don't know it's a little experiment oh i'm feeling wild <laughs> But more than anything, I just want to organize this because this is a proper floor drobe and like every morning when I even have to find pants, it's a little bit stressful. So, right. Um, I think, where do I start? <laughs> I actually started a little bit last night. I just got all of those like organization things like ready to go. Also, this is what the room looked like last night. Like, oof, what a state. And I also kind of moved things around because Mark still has a few things he needs to unpack in here. There's also just a random box that has like a Pilates roller in, like that can go in a different room. I found my bag with all my candles in, that was exciting. And then I basically just moved everything that was mine into this pile. So this is my pile, this is what I need to sort out. And I think what I'm gonna start with is opening everything up and then just dumping things into piles of like loungewear, underwear, jeans, tops, knitwear, shirts, skirts, everything like that. Just kind of get it all out. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>
so I've had the moment of like what the hell have I done here? This is a terrible mistake. Also, please don't worry about the floors. We had this place professionally cleaned just before we moved in. One of the best decisions we've ever made. I've got kind of leggingsy workout stuff, loungewear and pajamas, vest toppy things, winter things, shirts. Oh, there's some random jeans there. Jeans go over here. Oh, there's a, we, we've messed up. These are comfy. They go there. Some underwear bits, knitwear, t-shirts, summer tops, summer bump, jumpsuits, dresses, a bit of everything, shorts, summer trousers, jeans, all of my shoes are in there. These are the things I had at my parents already hanging up and then we've got like a big pile of coats. Oh, where would you begin? <laughs> where would you start with this? I'm thinking it might be worth starting to hang things that I know that I'm gonna have to hang, like coats and shirts. I might start folding my knitwear. Right, one thing is up, all my jackets and coats. Love that. Not loving how many hangers Mr. <laughs> Newton has used. I definitely think I'm gonna to need to make an order because like, look at that, that, that just, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I've got all my shoes out as well. I've tried to arrange them. So I've got like wintry ones that are actually used this season at the front, then like more summery ones, sandals over there, and then my high heels at the back. I mean like, yeah, they're not gonna get used anytime soon. A very tonal. <laughs> unsurprisingly a uh, collection of shoes. I mean, yeah, this actually makes me, what can I say? It makes me happy to see all my shoes again. How sad am I? A little distraction there because we finally have Wi-Fi, which is very, very, very exciting, but I've done a little bit more organizing over here. I think it makes sense for shirts to hang up. Well, that's just, that's just where they go, but I have run out of hangers. So this is definitely gonna be a two day job, but I've got a pile down here of more shirts to hang when those hangers arrive. I also thought it'd be nice to hang like special trousers so things aren't jeans I've got like some black trousers here leather trousers and then like linen-y trousers which are for the summer and I thought they'd be nice to hang as well just like something a bit different but if I want jeans we have a little <laughs> a little section over here I wasn't crazy about this for the previous family this was one of the kids rooms and so this is like a little princess moment happening here but actually this is so handy <laughs> so handy for these organization boxes that I bought so I've just got all of my jeans across here I think I'm going to put my like summer shorts and like denim and linen in there so this can be kind of like all my bottom half options are, are sorted then. Okay, I'm sort of making piles of stuff that I know that I'm gonna hang when the hangers arrive. And I've got loads, I mean, this is basically my favorite genre of clothing right now. And I had quite a few in storage, like matching, some of them are knitted, some of them are like more joggery material, but like matching loungewear sets. And they're quite big and chunky to store in the drawers. And at my parents, I had them on like on the hanger together. And it was just a really like nice way of storing them, a bit more visual than having them taking up lots of space in the drawers. And also, let's face it, this is basically <laughs> what I'm wearing most days. They're quite like a high traffic item for me. So I'm just gonna make a little pile down here. Like who remembers this one? This was from H&M last year, I think, for the Christmas gift guide that I put together. I just absolutely adore these sets. I sort of had more knitted ones last winter and then over this year I've got together more cotton material ones um, but yeah I just absolutely love them and I think I will get the most wear out of them. Maybe I shouldn't have that white one on the bottom even though the floors are clean. I think these will look really great hung up. So we're getting there actually like now I'm looking at it. I think I've gone past the oh my word where do I go from here phase. I'm really excited to like wear some proper clothes. Like what is this ensemble? Everyone's gonna be like, she's pregnant. Like it's, <laughs> it's not really a look is it? I'm not winning any points for like style and appearance in this video. I think we're on day four of unpacking just for some context, but yeah, I'm chuffed with this pile. This is all gonna go up there. And I realized that one day when we do get the wardrobes fitted, it's actually quite handy to see all of the clothing out. I actually know a lady who like designs wardrobes on that, like on visually seeing all of your clothing and then will design you the kind of perfect wardrobe based on what you own. Like what a dream job, right? <laughs> so that would be really nice to have a wardrobe that fitted our clothing in kind of perfectly. So Mark was so shocked. He was like, so you're gonna put your summer stuff upstairs, right? And I was like, no, I, I think I'm gonna have it all like in one place. I know, absolutely shook, but let's give this a go. I think the next thing 
to go through is probably knitwear. And again, I'm gonna try and like fold it and have a little moment with it up there so it's all easy to grab. And then I think I'm gonna concern myself with like gym stuff, pajamas, underwear, t-shirts. We're getting somewhere. This is what the folding area currently looks like, as if I need any more evidence of the fact that I should never buy a piece of knitwear ever again. Um, these are all like my thinner knits and my cardigans. I've just got them in those boxes. They actually worked really well, really nice for like folding them up in. And then I've got like my chunkier knits here. Obviously not great when you wanna get the knit on the bottom, but at least I'm gonna have an area over here where I can like take it, dismantle the pile and hopefully put it back. <laughs> <laughs> like that but uh yeah I feel like this is a really really great lesson in oh my word I never need to buy any more clothes ever again wow so that means I've only got this left to go which is like t-shirts underwear outsidey kind of bits like gloves and stuff like that and uh, my gym wear and then also like my real pajamas um not lounge row bits because they're going to be hanging so I feel quite good about this I've got one half of this to fill up um, and I think with the little drawer things that I've got I'm, I feel quite confident I can fit it all in. I've unpacked my bags too, and this room doesn't get too much light, so I'm not too worried about that. Plus, I was like, if they're not out and I can't see them, I'm just never gonna use them. So bags are unpacked. I've also got my steamery steamer up here. I thought that might be quite handy. And then in one of the little packing cubey things, I'm gonna put some clothing care bits. I've got some like denim spray and my cashmere comb and that kind of thing. I thought it'd be handy to keep them all up here so I can maintain everything I need. So I thought under here, it's like a little carpeted area, could be a good little slot for like my extreme of winter things. I've got a super warm extra thermal layer there, like my hat, my gloves, because I'm always like, I don't have any gloves. I do, I have two pairs, I'm fine. And then also my super summer things, so like a little sarong number, my hat, my bikinis and swimming costumes. I thought they could go in this little area because they're not really, Things I'm gonna use all that often. So there you go, summer, winter, away. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Okay, pajama drawer organized. I've got all my fancy pajamas down here, leggings. These are like summer linen-y shorts I wear as pajamas. Then I've got my really quite badly uh, fake tan stained in and out t-shirts, but I just absolutely love these. I've got the Spice Girls Prada one as well. Like they're just sort of t-shirts I wear for bed. And then down the side here, I've just got like miscellaneous jumpers. So a very cozy drawer, but I feel like that is as organized as I can get it. Okay, so these underwear organizer things have been so, so handy. Um, I know it sounds really weird, but I did do a blog post all about my favorite underwear. I recommended some thongs a couple of years ago and I always get emails about it, not in a creepy way, in like a, oh my God, thank you so much. This is the best underwear and it's super, super comfortable. Um, but I have a new favorite brand. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how this is organized. I've left some spaces for things I know are in the wash, but I've kind of got like bras and kind of little stretchy vest tops here, pants, socks, and then like chunkier socks, compression socks, like walking socks, welly boot socks, right at the back, also my tights. Um, so that is everything in there. So now the last two piles I have to organize are my workout gear bits, which I'm very happy to be reunited with because I really didn't take that much from my parents. And then these are all like t-shirts, like base layery kind of bits. So super, super handy for the winter. And I'm hoping I can kind of roll stuff up and slot it into this. So my underlayer drawer is now sorted. There's quite a few gaps here because I really love the Arquette heavyweight t-shirts and I've got one in cream and I've also got one in black and white, but they're in the wash. So I've got like slots there left for those. And then I really love the colorful standard 
uh, just like the universal t-shirts I think they're called. So again I've got one in like a white, a kind of ivory and then a black and they're also in the wash so I've got slots for those. I've just got some black t-shirts down the back, a long sleeve number, some more white t-shirts and then these are kind of underlayery bits like long sleeve like thermally tops. I've got a few like little knitted croppy numbers but I think that's enough for that drawer which means that I've just got this left which is my workout gear. And I think what I'm gonna do is just go online and get a couple of extra of those organizers and then I can put them under here. So I'll have a little workout wardrobe in that corner. I think that's the plan. Okay, so at the end of day one of organizing, this is the progress shot. So I've got some piles here, stuff on the floor that just need to be hung. Once the hangers arrive, coats looking good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy to be reunited with this bad boy and to be fair this one too um, it's been raining a lot and that comes in very handy so then I've got my jeans here my shorts my knitwear more knitwear bags and then this is the final bit so I've just ordered some more of those organizers and I've got my leggings my tops my sports bras and then over here underwear and socks on top pajamas in that section and then like base layers on the bottom. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm really happy. It's so nice to see everything. It's going to be nice to just use everything and yeah it's definitely a reminder of like girl stop really stop with the shopping you do not need any more but i'm very very happy to be reunited with all of these things <laughs> after three months of a very extremely teeny tiny wardrobe so this is very very exciting so part two coming the final reveal once everything is here so bits have been arriving over the last couple of days and last night i stood here and i put everything on a hanger everything is now away there is a small pile here this um this is all mark stuff it's not mine he's gonna sort that out he said he's taking it a bag at a time and also he's got most of his stuff out so we're good this room is this room makes me really really happy i keep saying to mark i'm like i'm not sure how we're gonna build like wardrobes big enough in our bedroom to fit all of this in but for now this just works perfectly it's so nice to see everything that i have i feel like i'm rediscovering lots of old favorites and yeah like pinch me have i won the lottery like is this a dream right i'm gonna share with you my little corner and how it's all organized so this is everything up on a rail like honestly the capsule thing is out the window look at all this what am i playing at but i've got my coats here these are like matching loungewear sets so for every jumper that's here there's a pair of jogging bottoms on the bottom i mean this is basically what i live in the majority of the time it was really nice to find this one this was from our cat actually i think last year and it's a wool one and very happy to be reunited with that so that's kind of warm weather stuff my two glossier hoodies um just a bit easier hung up because they're quite chunky to fold i have a lot of shirts like here to here is just all shirts. Most of them are silk shirts or linen shirts. There's some cotton ones in there and occasionally, this is like an Arquette blouse with a little drop waist. So some of them are fancy tops, but most of them are shirts. This is kind of fancy top section. I got the feathered number here, my Tove Studio dots, definitely more summery stuff. And then we go into kind of dresses, like summery dresses. There is my leather dress in there. There is a jumpsuit. These are more like winter trousers, like my leather trousers that I'm wearing today normally go up here. And then we've got a fancy jumpsuit, my realization par skirts, and then these are all of my linen trousers. So that is everything hung. My word, it's a lot. I feel very, very, very lucky. Um, these are all of my shoes on the bottom. I've kind of put shoes that I'm wearing more now, um, like wintry boots, that kind of thing near the front. And then at the back, I've got, these are all my high heels at the back my summer sandals at the back as well for a rainy day well not a rainy day <laughs> a sunny day and then this turned out to be so so handy so i've got all my bags up here i've got all my knitwear and then these are my more thinner knitwear bits so like my cardigans and just like my equipment thin cashmere jumpers then under here i've got jeans these are all of my shorts they're quite handy in that little like pocket bit those were so handy those organizers i'll definitely link them down below for you and then under here we've got like summer additional things winter additional things and then this is all of my workout gear so in this one i've got leggings in that one i've got tops and then in this one i've got socks and bra tops and then over here near 
the pile trademarked and we've got all of my underwear in this top one these are so handy for socks guys like socks and pants oh my word so handy and these are really great for bras as well and it's nice because in most of my bras i've got like a nude and a black so i can kind of put them together and have like the nude and the black next to each other i've got my more like chunkier socks down the side in here we've got all of my pajamas <laughs> my in and out t-shirts but i love them so much and then more kind of like thinner hoodies this is really really comfy stuff and then right at the bottom i've got like base layer stuff these are just some knittedy bra top type things these are like thermals and then these are all of my t-shirts so yeah Whew. it's a lot and it feels like a lot and please don't let me buy anything ever again <laughs> like i really definitely don't need any more clothes but this is actual heaven something that i thought we would never ever have i mean to be fair this is not long term a dressing room but it's really nice to have for now and it's nice to have everything organized for now as well because it's going to be a long time till we manage to build wardrobes in our room so honestly i am very very over the moon with this setup anything that we used like the rails the drawers the little like drawer organizers i'll link them down below for you because they were so 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 handy and i'm always being asked about my hangers and they're from zara home and they cost me an arm and a leg maybe like three or four years ago now but i found some online that look exactly the same like these look exactly the same as the other ones and they're actually like heavier they feel bulkier they feel better made so i'll link those down below for you in fact we've got some spare ones oh they're very heavy <laughs> you could literally use them as weights um, and i got some of the trouser ones as well these are the trouser version of them so um yeah super super happy with those super happy with all of this thank you so much for like following along on our house journey and all of your lovely comments and your support and love it really really means the world it's been such an exciting time and it's so fun and like thrilling to share so appreciate that i hope you're all having a brilliant december and i'll see you soon bye